Hello lovelies, this is Sienna. You're welcome to Alakilge YouTube channel. If your first time of watching my video, please kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to get notification whenever I upload a new tutorial. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking around. I love you. So today's tutorial is an out of draft cut and so this beautiful blouse. It's a free blouse with a bit of exaggerated sleeve. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, please continue to watch. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Thank you. Okay, so to make this dress, this top, you're going to be using half these lines already on the pattern paper. So what I did is measure to divide my biggest circumference, which is 36, divided by 2. I divided by 2, so that's 18. So I added extra 8 inches because... I'll be adding my allowances on this pattern paper. So, so I have 26 here. So this like then I divide it into two. 13. So I have 13 on this side and 13 on this side because I'll be drafting half of the front and half of the back. So this side will serve as the front. So I'll be writing C here, here. And this side will serve as the center back. C B like so so now let's move to the measurements that we have in the front so in the front here i have my chest line here on this line so the chest line so i write c here so for the back to the front and the back chest line is the same so i have c here here to chest line so and I have my shoulder to nipple, that's 10.5. Shoulder to nipple measurement, boss line of NP. Then the shoulder to the waist, the shoulder to waist measurement is 16 on the front, and shoulder to waist back is 14 because the back and the front waist line is not the same. So the front is 16, so the waist line here. I'm going to go by its waistline and for the back this is the back waistline the back does not have bust line because there is no bust there's no bust at the back so there is no bust line at the back then the full length of the blouse because it's a full scale is 22 so this is what the full length the blouse length be her or fl full length the same thing for the back to so the back is 20 inches 20 inches so we have the blouse length or full length for the back so what i'll do now is to input the measurements so the first measurements i'll input on the front is the shoulder measurement the shoulder is 14 then i'll divide the 14 by 2 divided by 2 14 divided by 2 equals to 7. So I will input the 7 inches here. Seven inches here on this line. So on the chest line too, I will input the 7 inches too on this line. Then for the neck line, I will be doing 3 by 7 inches. 3 by 7 inches for the next line. I do 3 by 7 inches. I want the neck to be very, very deep. 3 by 7. So I will just use my curve ruler to do or to give it a curve. Yeah, like that. So from the 7 inches that I did here, I'm going to come down by 1.5 inch for the back, for the shoulder slope for the front. Then I will connect it to this area. Then from here, I will cut, look straight down from this here down, straight down, like that. So the next thing I will do is to come in by 0 0.5. So first now I'll divide this whatever I have left here by two. And from where I divided by two, I'll come in by 0 0.75 for the front. Then 
So I'll connect this to this. So from there, the next measurement I'll input is the bust circumference. The bust is 34. Now I'll divide it by 4 because we are working with the half of the front bodies. So 34 divided by 4 equals to 8.5. So on the chest line, I will input the 8.5 there. 8.5 on the chest line. So and I'll finish up my arm hole. there. So on the chest, I'm going to add two inches for sewing allowance because i'll be adding fabric support to this uh, for aligning so i'll add two inches for sewing allowance then i'll complete the cuff there yes. cuff like that then the next measurement i'll input is the waist circumference the waist is 28 so 28 divided by 4 equals to 7 so before i add the 7 i'm going to input the bust span i didn't write that before bust span the bust span is 7 and i'll divide the 7 by 2 so 7 divided by 2 equals to 3.5 so on the waistline here i will input the 3.5 inches Three point five. Then on this line, so I'll input this three point five on the both sides. Then I'll connect the lines together like that. So on the on the hip line here, on the full length line, I'm going to input the three point five there too because the dots will come down straight there. like that so that is it for this yeah. so the next thing is to on the way so i'm going to input my dad and for the dad i'll be using half half inch on both sides half inch on this side and half inch on this side so from the boss line i will come down by just one inch so from there i'll connect this to this this to this So uh, from the boss line, I will come up by just one or two, by two inches. Then I will connect this to this and this to this. So that is it. So now I will now input the waist circumference. The waist is 20, 20 divided by 4 is 7. So I will input the 7 inches here. So the 7 inches plus the 1 inch for that. I'm going to put it here. So 8 inches like that. So from this line here, where I input for the bust before, before the allowance, I'm going to connect to the waist line like that. Then on the waist, I will add 2 inches for sewing allowance. So I will add that to a straight down the line. Too. Then on the full length there, the circumference of the hip is 36. So 36 divided by 4 equals to 9. So 36 divided by 4 equals to 9 inches. So here on this full length, I'm going to import the 9 inches. Nine inches. So I'll connect this to this. Then I will add the two inches for sewing allowance. So I'll connect this to this one. 
So to finish up the front measurements, I will add the two inches of the bust that because the front of the back length is not the same. So on this line here, I'm going to come down by two inches for the darts. For the darts, so I'll connect it to this side. So I'll see connect it straight down today, like that. So this is for the front and that is all for the front bodies. So for the back, I will input my shoulder measurement. The shoulder is 14 divided by 2 to 7. So from the center back, I will input the 7 inches. Inches. Then on the chest line too, I input the seven inches. So on these seven inches, I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope for the back. So the neckline for the back is three by one because I'll be doing just basic neckline. The back neck is high, so it's three by one. Three on the neck width. And one inches on the neck depth. So I'll just use my curve ruler to do the curve like that. So that is the height of it. So from here, I'll connect it down to here. Like that. So I'll connect this line to this line. This line, I'm going to measure whatever I have left here. So I have 7.5 inches left. Here. So whatever I have left, I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'll come in by 0 0.75 for the back. So I'll connect this to this. And on the chest line here, I will input the quarter of the bust circumference, which is 8.5. Then I will finish up the arm hole like that. Like that. So I will add 2 inches for sewing allowance. On this line so the next line is the waist circumference so the waist I will input the bust span which is 7, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 so I'm going to input the 3.5 on this line and also on the full length line and also on the chest line and I'll connect the three lines together like that so now on the waistline, for the dart, I'll be using one inch, so half inch on both sides. So I'll just connect straight down to this. The same way with the back, too. I'll just connect straight. Like that. So on the waistline, we input the Quarter of the waist circumference. The quarter of the waist circumference is 28 divided by 4 is 7. It was 1 inch that I've taken in here for the darts. So that's 8 inches. So 2 inches for sewing allowance. So I'll just connect this to this and this to this. So on the Full length line, I will be inputting the quarter of the bust with its hip circumference, which is 9. 9 inches. Plus 2 inches for sewing allowance. So I'll connect together. Like that. 
guards. So the last thing I'll do for the back is to take in the back guards. The back guards is taken on the waistline here. I'll be coming in by 0.75. 0.75 so from there I'll connect it straight down to the neckline and straight down to the full length line like that so whatever I've taken in I'm going to replace this return it back so I'm just going to take the measurement again what I take here I'm going to put it back here. Like that. The 0 0.75, I'm going to just input the 0 0.75 here. And I'll connect the lines together. So that is all for the front and for the back. So for the back, I'll be using two inches for the darts. For the so this is the zipper allowance. So this is all for the front and the back of the top so i'm just going to cut through like that so i'll be closing this that i'll be closing this that and transform into this so before i try close this out and transfer this i'll first open this that first so right here i'm just cutting open my waist that in order to close my bust that there. So before closing my bust that I extend the leg of the dart till the allowance because I didn't do that before, so I extend it then I close it off. So I trimmed the side of the pattern to to I not tip it down right there like so. Now I'm just cutting up on the back that. So right now I'm just adding allowance to the hemline and also to the neckline and the hamhole area because I didn't add allowance earlier. So you can spread your pattern on your fabric as much as you want, as much as how free you want your top to be. So I'm just cutting up on, I'm just cutting my fabric after I did the allowance. So right now I have my basic sleeve. You don't, if you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve, I'll leave a link in the comment section for you. So I will have a video now to draft a basic sleeve. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to use the slash and spread method to increase the fullness of the sleeve to create that balloon effect. So I'm just creating lines on my pattern. I didn't follow any particular method. So I'll just do my lines and I'm cutting it open right now. So as to create the fullness needed for the sleeve. So right now I'm just spreading my pattern on my fabric like so. Please know that you must not splash through to the top of your sleeve. Just start below the top of your sleeve there, your sleeve. So right now I'll be joining my lining to my fabric because I cut lining for this. If you don't, if you also don't need the lining, please just use, or you can use a facing for the neckline or you use bias to finish it up. So I'll just be stitching through the neck and also the sides and the bottom too. 
So I will do that and show us how it's So right now I've already joined my lightning to my front panel and also to the back panels too. So now I'm going to just join them together on the shoulder, the lining to lining and fabric to fabric to finish that up. So if yours does not have lining, just play your front and back panel together and sew like that. So I'll finish joining the back panel and the front panel together by the sides and also the shooter like that. So the next thing I'll do now is to add the zip to the back of the so the zipper allowance that I left so I'm just going to use that to join the zipper to the fabric. So right now I've joined the zipper to the fabric at the back. Can you see how beautiful it looks? It's looking beautiful right now. I've joined the zipper. So the next thing I'll do is to join the sleeve to the ammo. And before doing that, I'll first hem the hem of the sleeve by one inch. You first turn it in like how I'm doing right now. Just turn it. So you have to leave a channel. The channel will be used for the elastic because we're using elastic at the hemline of the sleeve. So just stitch and leave a channel up on there like I'm showing you us right now. Now I'm going to just insert the elastic at the band. So just cut enough elastic for your round wrist or wherever your sleeve reaches. So just measure around there and use that to what? insert it inside the sleeve like. So right now I'll just add my sleeve to the ham hole and join it together like that so that's all for this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share thank you for watching